Hello out there. Welcome to another edition of All Things Real Estate. Thank you for joining me. I have a question for you. You ever been sitting there on a nice Sunday afternoon in front of your TV, in front of your HGTV, and been watching one of those shows and thought, I can do that. I can be an investor. I can buy a house and I can rent it out or I can flip it and I can do it just as well as those people on HGTV. I thought so. I thought you probably had had that experience like most of the people that I know that ask me about getting into the home investing market. And so today what I thought I would do is create a little video for you with some of my tips and tricks um, about the investor market that, um, that apply to the market today, which is very challenging for home buying. As I've talked about many times, and um, you've heard me talk about that if you have watched any of these videos on Thursday. So stay tuned for my tips and tricks for you investors and use those tips and tricks to find out whether you might be able to get into the investing market. Stay tuned. Okay, so here are my tips and tricks. I've got six of them for you. Number one, um, a thing that I talk to people about when they first ask me about getting into any kind of home investing is, can you absorb the cost of that home that you're going to buy as an investment property if something happens in this market? If the market goes down, are you gonna be able to retain that property in a comfortable way? Um, if so, then continue on to my other tips and tricks. If that's not you, I don't recommend you getting into the home investing market just because the market can take, you know, uh, twists and turns. It's not always going to be super high up as far as, uh, you know, selling a house and things like that. And if you can't comfortably absorb those costs of owning an investment property, I just don't recommend that you do it because I don't want to see anybody get financially strapped or hurt in, um, in the housing market. So that's number one. Number two, I will tell you this right now, that most of the houses that you're seeing out there on um, Realtor.com, on Zillow, I'm gonna, write, I'm gonna roll my eyes real quick, Zillow. Um, most of the houses that are actually listed out there with a real estate agent are not gonna be something that you're gonna wanna buy to actually flip. And I'll tell you why, because right now, it's a seller's market, right? We know that from you guys watching these videos, it's a seller's market. Things are high out there, houses are high, and there's not enough quote unquote meat on the bone um, of those houses that are typically on MLS for you to be able to buy them um, and make an improvement to them and flip them. So that's number two. So I, I wouldn't recommend you know getting out there and trying to find a bunch of houses on realtor.com or on Zillow because that's those, those just aren't gonna be viable as flips. Um, what you can do this is the third tip. What you can do in the general market right now is you can find some deals for um, short-term or long-term rentals. Long-term rentals meaning like you're gonna have a tenant that's gonna sign a year lease or something like that. Short-term rentals meaning um, you know an Airbnb type of thing like a weekend um, or a week rental or you know anything basically it's like around a month or maybe even two. Um, you can find um, houses that are priced such that you could make a few um, you know tweaks to maybe the flooring and paint and that kind of thing and retain it as an investment property as a rental so that's that's my third tip is um, I wouldn't concentrate on home flipping in the general market I would concentrate on actually retaining um, that property as a rental property in some form or fashion the fourth one is that if you do want to really get into the home flipping business, if retaining a property as, an, as a rental type of thing is not what you're looking for, if you're looking for really to, to, to try to do a flip, um, I really do recommend that you look around in the area that you want to buy in and you know try to get something that's not on the market. On the you know that's not on realtor.com or on Zillow or something like that. Maybe that's a neighbor's house. Maybe that's a relative's house. Maybe it's somebody that you work with and their brother or sister or mother or daughter are selling a house and you can you know go in there and try to get 
sort of what we call an off-market property. Those are not generally listed for the public. It's something, you know, kind of that you would use your own personal network to try to find those off-market properties. That's really the only way that you're going to be able to get into the home flipping business, I think, in this market right now because everything is so high. Um, the fifth tip that I would give you is if you're getting into the home investing market for retaining a house and wanting to rent it out as a short-term or long-term rental, make sure that the house that you're looking at buying um, is friendly to rentals. There are a lot of HOAs out there that aren't allowing even long-term rentals. Um, and there are a lot of HOAs out there right now that are specifically prohibiting Airbnbs. That's the case even in some areas that are more recreational that you really wouldn't expect them to limit Airbnbs and that kind of thing. So you really want to look at you know, the local regulations, the neighborhood regulations in the, of the house that you're looking at buying for a rental investment to make sure that you're not gonna buy it and then get surprised that you can't actually legally rent that property out. So that's really important. Um, and then my sixth and final tip is just like anything that you're new at, you're gonna wanna find somebody who can give you guidance and mentoring. There are people out there who are sort of investment coaches, um, investor mentor type of people. And um, I highly recommend that you touch base with people who um, have been in the investor market that know what they're doing and that can guide you in that because there's a lot of pitfalls to it. And this goes back to my tip number one, I don't want to see anybody get financially hurt in this in this market um, or make mistakes that cost them a bunch of money and that kind of thing. So I really recommend that you find a mentor, find somebody who has been in the has been an investor um, in this specific market and that you use that person as a mentor that you, you know, maybe not use them. Maybe you pay them <laughs> instead of just use them. But definitely reach out to someone who you know has been in this business um, that can that can teach you the ropes. So that is all I have for you today about investing. Those are my six tips and tricks. It's kind of a tongue twister there. Um, I hope this was helpful to you. And if you are looking at getting into the investor market, reach out to me and um, maybe I can uh, go over these tips and tricks with you over coffee or lunch or things, something like that. Or maybe I can put you in touch with an investor mentor. You never know, okay? I hope you have a great rest of your Thursday and I hope to see you back here on another edition of All Things Real Estate next week. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.